Hi everyone, in today's video I wanted to take you through one of my favorite sweater brands and that is Baba. If you don't know, Baba is a Spanish sweater company that sources all of their materials in Spain including their wool and cotton and uses all natural materials including um, dyes in their process. I get a lot of questions uh, about my Baba sweaters on Instagram and personal messages. So I thought I would create this video to kind of talk about those sweaters, kind of talk about their cotton and wool options, go through my personal sweaters and some of the pros and cons with them and things I really like about them. And then I wanted to take you through some of the sweaters that I've actually passed on to others and sold, the pieces that I wear the most of my Baba collection, and then a couple pieces that I have my eye on that I might add to my wardrobe in the future. I also want to say that this video is not sponsored by Baba. I just have been collecting their sweaters for a long time and get asked about them so much that I just kind of wanted to create a video for those of you out there that have maybe been interested in purchasing one of their sweaters before. Hopefully I can help you kind of narrow down your choice um, and what piece you want to invest in. So my thoughts on cotton versus wool. So Baba sweaters come in either 100% cotton or 100% wool. Cotton, I find, is definitely more appropriate for spring and summer. It's not as warm as wool, which is to be expected. I still really like them for those kind of warmer months when you have like a cooler night um, and just want like a light layer. The cotton can be really, really great for that. But when it is cold where I live, it gets pretty cold uh, in the fall and winter and wool is definitely my main go-to. I will still sometimes wear my cotton pieces in winter, but I will wear thermals underneath them. But when I go for like a cardigan or something of that nature, I always pull from my wool pieces instead of my cotton ones. I will also say if there is a style that you like in cotton, most of their sweaters actually have a wool equivalent. And I will share those um, in kind of like a little description box as I go through my sweaters. So if you see one sweater that you really like in cotton, um, but you would like it in wool, I'll share what their equivalent is in the wool version. So first I will take you through my cotton sweaters. This first sweater is the number 16 cardigan in clay pot. It is a long length sweater with um, pearl buttons and two pockets. And it also has a nice drop shoulder sleeve with full length long sleeves that I usually have to roll. Um, this sweater is pretty long on me, but I'm fine with that on my frame. Um, I love having kind of a longer silhouette option in some of my cardigans. Um, and I also really like this color. It kind of works really well um, in my spring and summer wardrobe if I need a layer over dresses um, or just want something kind of lighter to throw on. Um, this is a really, really great option. I could see if you are a little bit shorter. I am 5'5", so the sweater is pretty long on me. It hits um, past my hips. Um, this sweater may feel a little too long on you, but they do have a shorter version, which I'll talk about next. So this next sweater is the cardigan number 22 and mine is in roasted fig. This is the shorter version of the cardigan number 16. For me, it kind of is almost a little bit cropped. It hits um, just a little bit below my waist. Um, also has pockets and three pearl buttons. It is probably one of my favorite sweaters. Um, I love this kind of cropped length. I wear it a ton in spring and summer, and it's a really nice option if you like the look of the number 16, but you feel like it might be a little overwhelming for your silhouette. The number 22 could be a really, really great option. I also really like that the number 16 and the number 22 both have pockets. I find this super, super functional and uh, kind of a necessity for me with a toddler. I love having pockets on me at all times, whether it's my pants or even cardigans, just always storing extra things in there. I will say though that I got this question on Instagram and I thought it was an interesting one and I'd share. My phone does fall out of these pockets. I have the larger iPhone. So if you're looking for a sweater where your phone will stay put and you have one of those larger ones, this might not be a great fit for you. But if you're just looking to store like other things, like I have like tissues or snacks or whatever, um, then these would work perfectly fine. And the last cotton sweater that is in my Baba collection is the jumper number 16 in Tonka Bean. So this is kind of similar in length and dimensions as the cardigan number 16, but it is obviously just a pullover sweater. 
I really love this sweater as kind of a throw on piece. And this is one of the pieces that I also wear in winter just with like a thermal layer underneath it because it is so easy to throw on and I'm able to even tuck it into my pants um, and go. It's just a really, really easy piece to wear and one that I grab and wear quite often, um, even more so than my cotton cardigans in winter. I probably rarely wear those, but this jumper does get a, a ton of wear in winter as well as spring and even sometimes in summer if it turns out to be a cool night. Now moving on to my wool sweaters. So this first sweater is the cardigan number 19 in mist. This is probably one of Baba's most popular sweaters and one that you'll see a ton. I do love the open weave of this sweater. It's really, really beautiful and it has kind of a drop shoulder like most of their pieces have, but it does have kind of a cropped sleeve. Um, the, the oversized one, um, one size is kind of a little bit longer on me, but it is a little bit shorter sleeve than some of their other pieces. My only kind of downside to this cardigan is no pockets. I really, really love having pockets in my cardigans. So while I do love the silhouette of this sweater, it's not always my most worn one just because of the lack of pockets. But I still really, really do love the texture of it and wear it quite frequently. So the next sweater in my Baba collection is one that I actually added this year, and it is the Cardigan Mini number 19 um, in this beautiful red tone. I really, really wanted kind of a more cropped sweater option in my collection. Most of my pieces are kind of oversized um, and longer, so I kind of wanted a crop option and decided to try out this um, Mini number 19. I will say I would not consider this like a one size sweater, like all of their sizing is a one size, but I feel like this sweater is kind of way more limiting as a one size piece. It is pretty short um, in length and the sleeves are fairly tight on me. The wool will give over time. When I got the sweater, I did get it secondhand. Um, it was still brand new, so the wool hasn't had a lot of time to kind of like relax and stretch out a little bit. Um, which it will do over time, but it is still a pretty um, like form fitting with a little bit of an oversized silhouette piece on me. So something to consider. The next wool baba piece that I have is the cardigan number 17 in natural. And this is actually a very close equivalent to the cardigan number 16 in cotton. So once again, um, it has the three buttons, two pockets, and this is just made out of a natural wool that is super, super warm. Um, I love the kind of oversized fit that this also has with the drop shoulder, um, a little bit longer length. It's super easy to layer in winter um, and has been one of my really go-to sweaters. Similar though to the number 16 cotton and the number 22 cotton is my phone does fall out of these pockets as well. So if that's something that you are looking for, kind of your phone to stay placed, this might not be the best option for you, but for holding anything else, it's pretty great. So the last Baba piece that I have is actually the number 17 coat in mist. This is a very, very oversized piece. It's even very long on me being 5'5". Five five. Sometimes I have felt like I'm kind of swimming in it, but it is a really great layer to have. And I've actually gotten a lot of functionality out of it, even though it might not always be the most fat, flattering piece for me. There is a ton of room for me to personally layer underneath, which I've really liked. I have considered selling this piece in the past, but I just, actually have used it so much this winter season that I'm keeping it around. I also really love this mist color. I have, as you remember that, that number 19 cardigan in mist as well. It's just a really beautiful warm gray shade. So overall, I have gotten a lot of wear out of this, out of this sweater coat as kind of an extra added layer of warmth in winter um, and I'm glad that I've kept it around in my closet. So now I wanna talk about a piece that I used to have in my closet from Baba, but I actually ended up passing on to someone else. And this is the jumper number 17. This is a wool turtleneck oversized, similar to the um, number 16 jumper piece that's in cotton, just doesn't have a turtleneck. It's the same silhouette, just the wool version does have a turtleneck. And I found that the turtleneck of 
like the wool turtleneck really kind of bothered my skin. I'm not super sensitive to wool and none of my other cardigans or pieces really bother me, but having that turtleneck around my neck of wool, that was like really kind of starting to irritate me and I just found myself not reaching for it that much because of that reason. I did try out, I love the silhouette of this sweater so much on other people, but um, that kind of caused me to try it in two different colors. I had it in mist originally, but then I had three pieces in mist and decided I should probably let one go. So then I traded it for the rose color, which was like this really beautiful, soft kind of pe like pinky color. But ultimately because of kind of the itch factor around my neck, I just ended up passing this piece on. I would love to see another jumper that is similar to the number 16 cotton, but just a wool version with no turtleneck. I think I would get a ton of wear out of that piece, but for now it was just not the right piece for me. So now I'll take you through my top three most worn pieces. So my top three most worn are the cotton jumper number 16 and Tonka bean. I really love this shade. And like I said, it's just such an easy sweater to throw on. I would honestly consider buying another color in this jumper. I don't know if I need to, but it is a piece that I wear so much that I know if I got another color in the same silhouette, I would definitely wear it a ton. The other piece that I wear all the time is my cotton cardigan number 22 roasted fig. This, if I want to get another cotton cardigan, I would get another one in this same silhouette, just a different color, obviously. I wore this so, so much, um, not in the colder months, like I said before as much, but I wear this sweater a ton. It's kind of a go-to for me with that like shorter cut. I really love it. If I were to get another cotton one, it would probably be this over the 16, just because the 16 is so long. And while that's fine for my silhouette, I just really kind of prefer this shorter cardigan for the cotton version. And then the last piece that I have worn all the time is my cardigan number 17 in natural. So the wool version, it has been kind of my go-to whether I've been around the house or going out. If I want an extra warm layer, this has been the cardigan that I throw on. I also really love the natural color as kind of being a little bit warmer um, and brighter in the colder months. And I haven't found it to be kind of catching stains or stains be insanely visible on it. Um, wool kind of has some properties that naturally repels certain um, stain materials and things. So I haven't really had a lot of issues with that. Like I thought I might having a toddler. Um, overall, I've been really happy with the natural wool um, cardigan in my closet. So now moving into some pieces that I've considered adding to my closet. First is this jumper number 20 or number 23 for the wool version. That's kind of a crop jumper, has two pockets, which I think is really fun, a little bit of a higher collar. And I just think having that crop silhouette, it would be great layered over dresses or with a high waist pant. I think I could get a lot of functionality out of it that way. I'm just trying to decide between either a cotton version or a wool version. I'm a little nervous about a wool version because of the neckline being higher and the issues that I had with the jumper number 17 turtleneck and that bothering me. But they have this beautiful kind of like tan beige color that I really, really love in this sweater. So that might cause me to kind of try give it a test run and see um, if the wool bothers me at all. Uh, otherwise, I might go for either like a cream in the cotton um, or if they had come up with like another lighter neutral, I might go for that as well. And then the other piece I'm considering adding to my collection is the cardigan number 51 in Dark Mist that actually was released this year. I really, really love this silhouette and the side pockets I think are really neat and might hold my phone better. I'm not sure, um, but it is a really beautiful cardigan. I don't have a piece in dark mist and I love the button style, the different button style on this piece. I just really also love kind of the drop shoulders that it also has um, and think it could be a really nice piece in my closet since I do wear cardigans all the time. And I only really have one that number 17 that has pockets right now that I like am able to kind of throw on besides like my coat and things, but like a basic cardigan that I can throw on that's wool. Um, I don't have a super ton of options um, from my babas or just in general. So I think this number 51 could be a really great add to my closet and I'll probably be looking for one secondhand here soon. 
If you have any additional questions about Baba's sweaters or just kind of want to chat with somebody about what sweater you're looking to invest in, I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you think this content would be helpful for anyone else that's been looking to invest in a Baba piece, um, feel free to share um, or send it their way. And if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.